Okay, thank you very much. So I try, try to make it uh, quick. So uh, the, I would like to report the Japan situation. So, and uh, so I would like to uh, first uh, review the, uh, the briefly introduce the uh, Japanese uh, the advanced by managing support activity. That is uh, uh, the concept of the, these activities are almost the same, similar to the uh, Euro bioimaging as well as the global bioimaging. So uh, this activity provides uh, uh, advanced microscope and uh, uh, imaging uh, instrument to the, uh, the, the, the general uh, other people and uh, access to the, this uh, instrument. And as well as uh, they are uh, the, this uh, provide a training activity as well as uh, image data analysis activity, but different from uh, different from the Euro bioimaging and uh, global bioimaging, there is no uh, image data management activity. Uh, and uh, so, for this purpose, uh, we uh, uh, our uh, SSPD uh, science uh, database activity is joining. So, and uh, this is uh, uh, established from the different funding, and uh, we are developing the data, uh, added value database as well as the repository service. So, and uh, we are closely working with the ABS, and uh, I'm actually the one, one member of the ABS. So, and uh, so in total, we have a uh, uh, the similar uh, total setup of the uh, global bioimaging and the EU bioimaging. So, and. Uh, uh, that this is a catch up of the last few years achievement and uh, so I just briefly go through but uh, so we have uh, several uh, good number of the uh, service already and uh, it's a semi almost a, a certain uh, uh, level so and uh, similarly to the last year so it's already uh, uh, going to the some level so and uh, it's successful so and uh, this is uh, uh, the introduction of the APs. And uh, so regarding the pre-publication image data, so, so we asked, uh, I asked several representatives in this activity. So I will point out the several uh, questions. And uh, uh, is, is there any centralized information management system in the APs? And the uh, uh, answer is not. So this is only for the application management uh, that is on, only centralized and uh, no centralized system for taking management of the uh, image data. So, and uh, the image data management and the image data transfer is done by each team, each site. And the data transfer, so that they are using the hard disk, the physically transferring the uh, hard disk, not uh, sending the, using the uh, cloud system or others, and usually. So, and uh, sometimes they use a Dropbox or some institutional file transfer system. And uh, uh, metadata, so uh, usually, so they are using, the, uh, saving the original data of the microscopy company and uh, it include them um, uh, much amount of the metadata to save that. And, uh, but the uh, experimental setting information that is uh, basically uh, written in a notebook or something and uh, just uh, physically uh, sending an email or a document. This is a very uh, classical way. And uh, uh, whole process management that is uh, only done by uh, experimental notebook of the each staff. So, and uh, you know, this is the situation. So, and uh, so possible improvement, improvement of the, this situation is maybe uh, they want to have some uh, the cloud system or data uh, transfer managing system to efficiently uh, circulate in the data and also uh, the management system, project management system or something. And also the secure data storage system that is necessary. And also there are other important problems. It's, uh, it's always happening in Japan, but the band power is not, not enough. And also uh, the, the uh, some uh, know-how is uh, uh, accumulated or taken, but uh, there is no uh, system to distribute or share such kind of know-how, so that is another problem. So the, this, this can be uh, solved. And uh, so uh, the SSPD data, database data management things. So SSPD databases, you uh, try to get the original data, but sometimes uh, uh, some people lost the original data that is uh, uh, maybe necessary to uh, the, the up, up, upgrade. And also the metadata. So sometimes so they have a difficulty in getting a, a desirable metadata. So, and uh, the possible improvement. So, uh, 
we need to set up the, some data management system in the project itself. So, and we already invited sub, several projects uh, to, to, to dealing with the, in the, uh, the data, internal, internal data management. So such kind of activity can improve the, this problem. So, and uh, also we are discussing about the workflow management. So, and uh, we have discussed with the OME IDL team. So, and uh, maybe this will help the more uh, better management of the metadata uh, workflow. And uh, we are uh, going to uh, make establish the Japan wide data management data system. So in the near future, possibly. Okay, so I've summarized the Japan sit situation. In ABIS Japan, so there is no central system for the pre publication data management and the data transfer is done mostly by physical transfer by hard disk and the metadata is obtained is old fashioned way. So and sometimes they lost the original data or uh, the metadata. So maybe we need to uh, uh, solve that. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So the one of the solution is the, the our data management team is actually involved in the, each project. That is one solution. And uh, maybe uh, we will de uh, develop the workflow management system to to uh, make it better. Uh, and through the international collaboration. So I'd like to thank the, the people who are uh, collaborating with uh, making uh, this summarization. So and the thank of all of them, all of them. So, and that is uh, the Japan situation. Thanks.